Hello, YouTube, and people that are on it. Because obviously, if you're watching this, you're on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Anyway, alright, so, uh, I'm just gonna get right into it this time. Uh, I, I went to go see the movie Green Lantern yesterday. Uh, I know it's been like, when did it come out? Like, June? If I'm correct, I think it came out in June. So yeah, I, I don't really like to go see movies when they first come out, just because it costs too much. The, by now, movies around where I live are in a dollar theater, and I, I, I like paying a dollar to go see a movie, so... Yeah, I don't care if I don't get to see movies in 3D. It's, it's a dollar. So worth it. I'm gonna turn this around because I noticed that all my videos, I'm just like, there's a screen. Anyway, so yeah, I went to go see Green Lantern yesterday. And uh, at first, I was like, wow, this is a pretty good movie, but then after I thought about it a, a little... I gotta think about it a little more, I watched some more uh, stuff about it. I just burped. Anyway, uh, it's not a bad movie by any means, but the best part about the movie was probably Ryan Reynolds, the person that they cast as the Green Lantern. He's just hilarious. He's flat out awesome, great actor, and he brought a lot of comedy and just good acting to the movie. Now, there was other good actors, yes, but he was just really good. He was just like, he had most of the lines, so of course, if he's gonna be, he was good. But, I noticed that a lot of the movie was just based around him, it was like, they put too much worry on him becoming the Green Lantern. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but if so, then that's not the smartest thing to do, because I want to see some action and some good comedy, especially when I see Ryan Reynolds' comedies, but I want to see some good action in the movie. And when I really think about it, there wasn't that much action. Like, I really wanted to see, like, the Green Lanterns, like, you know, a bunch of those cool-looking aliens that you got to see in those, uh, speech scenes. I really wanted to see those Green Lanterns in action, but you didn't really ever get to see that. I mean, you got to see, like, uh, Ryan Reynolds, uh, or, um, ha what's his name? What's his name in the movie? Howard? Hugh? Not Hugh. Howard. I don't even know. I'm just gonna call him Ryan Reynolds. Uh, you got to see him, you know, fight, like, two of, two other Green Lanterns, you know, just training, but you didn't really get to see, and it was only for, like, five minutes, if that, but you didn't really get to see any of them, you know, do some awesome stuff. Like, yes, near the end of the movie, in the really only other action scene in the movie, oh, not the only other, but one of the only other action scenes in the movie, you got to see him do some awesome stuff with his Green Lantern powers. But I was hoping that there'd be more of that. That's just, a lot of action movies today just aren't giving that. Just aren't giving a lot of good action and good story. Like, it had a good story, you know, based around him, you know, wanted to become more, him trying to overcome his fears, because he was, he was chosen by the ring, uh, to become the next Green Lantern after the la the, another Green Lantern died. Um, he was chosen to become the next Green Lantern, of course, but, and he didn't, he didn't feel that he had the, he didn't feel that the ring made the right choice, like, throughout, like, most of the movie, so he was just worrying about himself becoming a Green Lantern. And that's what most of the film was around, but, I mean, it was a decent story, but I feel like they could have given a little more. It just, I don't know. This is probably, I mean, I definitely think this was better than, people are going to hate me when I say this, but the new Batman movies. Like, yeah, the new Batman movies have action, but anyway, I'll get into that later. I'm just not a huge fan of the new Batman movie. The weird thing is, I'm like the biggest, not the biggest, but I'm a huge Batman fan. But, and a huge DC fan, and I'm saying this about this movie, it's just... It's a good movie, but I was hoping to see a little more Green Lantern. Um, instead of just a bunch of talking. It's just a little more Green Lantern, just a little more. I mean, there was a couple scenes where he fought it, he fought, fight it? He fought it. He fought, um, another human that was, um, exposed to yellow energy, which is the f energy of fear. And he, he got to fight him for, like, a scene. Not even a whole scene, like half a scene. Not even that much. It was like a very short scene, but he uh, got to fight him, which was pretty interesting, but it wasn't much. I would have liked to see it a little more. Eh. But, I mean, overall, the movie wasn't terrible. I, I would definitely suggest seeing it, because while you're watching it, you're thinking it's a pretty good movie. 
Uh, it's just after analyzing it a lot, it's, it's decent. I'm, I'm, I sound like I'm bagging on it a lot, but I actually liked it. I actually did think it was a good movie. I just was hoping for a little more action, maybe. I don't know. I was just, like, in the mood to see an action, you know, a good action movie. Uh, and it didn't give me too much action. But it wasn't a bad movie by any means. So I would probably give this movie a 3 out of 5. It's not bad, but it's not groundbreaking. It's not, like, amazing. It's not... I do hope they make another one, because I feel like in the second one, they could have more Green Lantern in him, like, in it, because this, this was him worrying about becoming one, but then now he is. He, now he knows that he can do it, and now he knows that blah, 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 and stuff. So I feel like they, if, they make, if they make a second one, it can be awesome. So anyway, there's my review. A uh, very bad review, but a review. Uh, so yeah, three out, of, three out of five testicle heads. That's what the main villain looked like. The main villain, not the main. But anyway, three out of five testicle heads, because that's kind of what the uh, one of the villains looked like. A guy with a testicle, on, a giant testicle on his head. It's really funny. But anyway, I'm gonna go, guys. So sorry for this terrible review. But if you were looking for a review, there you go. So, eh, bye.